What did you learn about your team? And, and did everything meet your expectations? Was there mm -hmm. anything different? Just kind of what did you take away from being in Florida? Yeah, I think Florida was was a good start for us. It wasn't it wasn't perfect by any means. Um, I was really impressed and proud of the way they came out of the gates um, on the first event in bars, really going for handstands and um, and just the confidence that they carried as a team. I was I was really impressed. It carried through the whole meet, um, and then we had a little mistake on beam, and it wasn't our best, and it, it didn't feel like our normal beam team. But you know, I told the team afterwards. I learned so much about. Um, their, their confidence levels and just what they need in a competition setting because it was our first time in, in an arena with them competing and um, I was really proud of the way they started. Uh, we talked about how we can finish better next time um, but you know we had I think seven freshman routines um, and all seven freshmen hit those routines and that's a big deal so um, we took away a lot of really positive things and the things that didn't go as well we debriefed as a team and talked about what we need to do differently next time to finish on a better note. What was it like for you just first time being out there as a mm -hmm. head coach? What did you learn about yourself? It was, it was so fun being out there for the first time. You know, the whole week I was just so excited. Um, and, you know, when we marched out and saw them in their Arkansas Leos and um, seeing them perform, it was, I was just so proud of them. And my main goal for them, I told them, obviously, you know, we want to perform the way we practice, but having fun was kind of that number one thing I wanted them to focus on. Uh, I told them, you guys have done the work, you've done the preparation, you've conditioned well, so you get to go out there, you get to perform and trust yourself and trust your gymnastics. Um, so I was just, I was just so happy to see them having fun, enjoying each other, and just staying together as a team the whole competition. Hopefully, that that's the plan. Um, you know, the, this first meet we had a lot of our, um, you know, older girls. People have been in the lineups previously out for injury. Amanda Ellswick has been out. Um, Sarah Schaefer only competed vault, and then um, Haley Garner is coming back from a concussion. So they're getting healthier. They're on their way. Um, hopefully, we'll see a couple more routines in this weekend. But um, again, I was just proud of the way our um, our depth really stepped up and performed well and hit routines for our team. And that's one of the best things you can ask for as a as a coach is having people that can step in in those positions um, and perform and hit routines. Yeah. Yeah, so Caitlin Oral, one of our assistant coaches, she does all of our choreography. <laughs> Caitlin Oral, one of our assistant coaches, she does all of our choreography, but we really work hand in hand on the performance quality of the routines. I feel like that is something that really sets teams apart, and that was something we really focus in at UCLA with um, under Miss Val. And so um, I've really tried to bring that here and, and just tell them, you know, um, when you can get the crowd engaged, when you can smile and have fun, and then dial in and focus on your gymnastics at the same time, um, it, it really is, is really fun to watch. And so we focused on that. We focused on it's not just you on this stage. You really need to perform out to the audience. And um, I think they've really enjoyed that. And part of being able to do that is preparing really well so that they can, they can trust their gymnastics and know that they have the conditioning and endurance to land those last passes without you landing short. So um, we've really dialed that in. And we're continuing to dial in the performance quality and something that um, I'm really trying to stay on top of with, with Caitlin as well. Um, yeah, I think it really depends on the team, but um, obviously Beam wasn't our normal performance um, at our first meet in Florida, so I think um, the team was really able to see what they need to do differently um, based on that first meet. I really told them, let's use this as a learning experience. You know, when, when a team makes a mistake, how do... When a team makes a mistake, how do we respond? How do we approach adversity? And so we focused a lot this week in practice about if something goes wrong, it's fine. How do you respond to it? You, you do you to the best of your ability. And you focus on whether it's being more aggressive, whether it's staying loose and having fun or smiling. And um, BEAM is one of those events where it can get shaky. Um, and nerve-wracking, so it's, it's, it's all a mental game. So we've really focused in on sort of the mental aspect of BEAM this week, and um, I'm confident that they'll take what they worked on and, and, and bring it into Barnhill. How excited are you guys to be in Barnhill? Mm -hmm. Just up, touch a little bit on, on that new layout and mm -hmm. what fans can maybe expect. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be in Barnhill for the first time. Um, 
I'm excited to see our fans show up and get our crowd engaged in, in the whole event. We've, we've really focused on that. The reason we changed the layout was so we can give fans hopefully a better view, a better experience. And, um, and it also just sometimes change is fun and exciting. So we moved the floor a little closer to the student section uh, because we actually shifted some of the girls' choreography to be you know, performing, engaging the student section. I think that's going to be really fun for them. And then we, we sort of turned bars so that you can see it from the side and really see those handstand angles. Um, and then Beam is a little closer to the crowd as well. I think Beam is one of those events that's just, you know, for, for people who, who have never done gymnastics, knowing that you're flipping on a four-inch piece, four piece of wood is, is pretty cool. So for fans to be able to see that up close, I think will be really special. Um, so there was kind of a lot that went into it. Um, I'm excited. I hope the fans really like it. Um, and so I think we, we really dialed in different aspects of the event to hopefully make it fun for everybody to come watch. What do you want to see from your team in the second meet? Uh, I really want to see them carry that same confidence they had in Florida. You know, I was so impressed with the way they did not get shaken by an away crowd in the SEC. Um, you know, that was a new experience for me coming from Pac-12. Um, the SEC has so much intensity and amazing crowds. Um, I loved the way they stayed in our team's bubble and didn't let that um, affect them, them. So I hope that they carry that here because it's – there's going to be distractions still. It may not be an away crowd, but um, you know we talk a lot about noise and things that could potentially distract the team and, and kind of pop that bubble and let distractions into that bubble. So um, I hope that they carry that confidence. I hope they carry that nice tight bubble into Barnhill and just stay together as a team and carry that same confidence they had in Florida. What, you talked about noise. What event does noise affect the most? You know, probably beam. <laughs> I, you know, I feel like I keep talking about beam, but it's just kind of the reality of gymnastics. It's it's one of the more nerve-wracking events. But um, you know, we have we have a pretty amazing beam team, and they practice very well. They look confident. Um, it's just a matter of doing that in front of a crowd and um, when everyone's watching. And I know they're capable of that. It's just a matter of getting those first jitters out for that first meet and and coming into Barnhill and just knowing that this is their house. These fans are here to support them. Um, and they just get to do what they normally do in practice.